Now the color of the shape really doesn't matter, so I'm just going to make it red just so that you can see it. There it is, red. What I'm going to do now is enable the layer of the snowboarder screen so that I can see the entire composition. Then I'm going to press Ctrl J, Command J and the Mac to duplicate. So now I have two copies. I'm going to disable the one on the top by clicking on this eye icon and the one on the bottom here. I'm going to clip to the shape below it. So with that layer selected, I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt, G, Command, Option, G on the back. Then I'm going to enable the layer right above that. And I'm just going to make a selection around the snowboarder. So I'm going to click on the clicking and dragging. And notice that my selection is not very accurate. You shouldn't spend too much time at the bit more. Shift and click on the layer below it so they're both selected with the move tool. It moves both. And they can be in different groups and they can be separated so that allows us to keep those two layers together. What I'm going to do now is press Ctrl T, Command T to transform to scale this and adjust it accordingly. If you can't see the corner handles that you want to click and drag on, you can press Ctrl 0, that's Command 0 in the back, for the bird's eye view that allows you to see all four corner handles. Then I'm going to click and drag on this one here to scale it down by holding Shift, Alt, that's Shift, Option on the back. Now at this point, we can go back and adjust the layer mask if we need to. So I'm going to zoom in just so we can see the with a negative value and see how that's adjusted. So we can keep adjusting it and making sure that that line is gone, but we don't lose any detail that we want to keep. Also, with this brush select that I can click and drag here on the hair and hopefully we'll get a better. And as you can see, it's not very accurate. That's okay. Then I can hold shift and backspace. Or you can go into Edit, Fill to bring up the Fill menu under Contents, choose Cut Top Part here. Now that I have the selection active, I can fill with white. White is currently my foreground color. To fill with the foreground color, you can hold Alt and Backspace, Option, Backspace on the Mac. Then Control D, Command D on the Mac to deselect. Now we got to work on this bottom part. There's a feature in Photoshop called Apply Image. If you go into Image, in this case, okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is click on the brush tool, select black as my foreground color so I can paint with black. I'm going to increase the size of my brush by clicking on the right bracket key on the keyboard. And I'm just going to paint with black. And again, you don't have to be very accurate. As long as you get close enough, you should be good. And I'm just painting these pixels away which represent the floor and once again I'm going to go into image adjustment levels and darken up some of the darker pixels and brighten up the mid tones a little bit and press ok so this selection looks like it'll work so I'm going to press Control, command on the mac click on the blue copy icon to make a selection around it go back into the layers panel on the background layer which is the only layer that we have in this document. I'm going to click on the new layer mask icon and notice now that the floor is no longer there. Now it's not a perfect selection and from here I can match the scene a little bit better and I can even distort it if I want to. Maybe right click on it and choose distort just to get a better perspective. Then I'm going to press V on the keyboard to get the move tool and maybe I can move it around if I need to. And I'm going to click on the new group icon to create a new group. I'm going to click and drag this snow layer in there. I'm going to collapse it and now it's in that group. Next I'm going to hold Alt with the brush tool I can paint with white on this layer mask to start revealing some of that snow. So I'm going to use the bracket keys on the keyboard as I work to increase and decrease the size of my brush. So I'm just painting with white, just bringing in some of it. Go to edit and copy or you can press Control C. I'm going to deselect that element, Control D, Command D on the Mac. Go back into the file that we're working with. I'm going to paste it here, Control V, Command V on the Mac and there it is. As you can see it's a high resolution file which is good. I'm going to change the blend mode to screen so the black pixels disappear 
can we only keep the bright pixels in this case the snow then i'm going to press ctrl t come down i'm going to press ctrl zero command zero again to zoom back in and i'm going to just rotate it and make it fit accordingly now in this case i'm going to flip it horizontally so right click on it flip horizontally and keep rotating it so maybe something something like this and I, I can you know scale it more if I need to or rotate it more if I need to so whatever distortions I need I can you know scale it more if I need control T to transform that's command T in the Mac control zero command zero on the Mac and scale this one in as well and I'm gonna zoom in and rotate I'm gonna open up this group so we'll click on the snow layer here and click on drop shadow notice a little drop shadow there you can use the settings that i have here if you like notice that i'm not using black i'm using the dark burgundy color which is similar to that color you see right there right under the frame and just brought the intensity down to about 25 percent using multiply and notice the light is 